Hello guys, what the heck's up? It's me, Almighty Maddie, and welcome to the Doodle Showcase that I talked about in my last My Singing Monsters video. If y'all are wondering what these words are, because you either can't read, you're blind, or both, which seems really unfortunate, um, there's too much free time, and sometimes career sucks, sometimes it's okay. No gray area. Um, so I'll just get right into it. This first guy here, this is Lars, in case you couldn't tell by the name. Um, I don't know what Lars is, he's just a screaming D400 pile of dirt, or he's a slug. I could just go with slug. It's like, you know how slugs have tails? His kind of goes all the way around his body. It's not just two things that go out the sides, he's like, he's like a blob. He's like a blob of slime, if that makes any sense. Just with one part of it kind of standing up higher than the other parts, if that makes sense. Um... The thing I like to do with all of my doodles, for whatever reason, is I give them really... I, I make the the uh, area around their eyes really puffy, for whatever reason. As you can see with Lars's eyes and Bert Stein's eyes. Not with Miho, because Miho is just a skull. Um, I guess that's just for incorporating more detail, because the entire point of drawing these guys is to get more detailed with my art and I'd say I did pretty good on these guys and the other doodles I've made um and then there's well I drew Lars during careers one day oh my god so um the well nothing really happened I was just taking a break from working like, just like giving myself a brain break, otherwise my work wouldn't be as good as it usually was. I just took a few minutes to draw Lars. And then I got back to work. And then there is Bert Stein here. He's a, he's a tall, noodle limb looking guy. One, one person said he looked like he came out of Little Nightmares, which I guess I can't argue with, though. Although almost none of the, well... A lot of the characters in Little Nightmares don't have eyes, or don't have visible eyes. And Bert, Bert Stein, also unlike the other Little Nightmares characters, looks happy, and he is happy. He's got a giant head. A very, very, very big head, and arms that cannot stretch or do anything. Though he does have actual useful legs that he can use to walk, and he's got knees. One knee, of course, for whatever reason, just kind of protruding more than the other one. I don't know what the deal with that is, just just how it came out, and I don't know why I ended up giving him a little a little belt, or a little pair of pants, actually. I guess I just didn't know what to do with his leg region. And then there is Miho, the skull. Um, when did I draw? I, I drew Bert Stein during language arts, by the way. I drew Miho during, uh, when was it? Math, I think? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was during math. Um, to my surprise, my teacher didn't catch me, probably because I wasn't drawing in my sketchbook. I was drawing on a lined piece of paper, so it probably looked like I was working, and it looked like less of a distraction, because, prob because the most likely scenario would, would be that if I took out my sketchbook, the teacher, the teacher would be like, Hey, you can't draw in here. It's... Gonna be distracting to the other students, though Mr. Gonzalez would just be like, Hey, you can't draw in here. I like your art, you're a good artist, but dude, you can't draw in here. But, of course, he wouldn't say dude, because he's an adult. And adults don't say things like dude, because those terminologies are childish. As heck. So, then there is the most normally named guy ever, Dave. Dave is a tripod, in case you... Notice he's got one leg, two legs, and three legs there. Um, I don't really have much of a story for Dave, though I drew one half during careers. The the substitute with an extremely annoying voice was like, "Make sure you're working." When I was when I just finished this leg and the head, I did the head first, of course, and I did everything else during art for Dave. Which I guess was pretty easy, though. Um, doing the darker shading on his third leg in the back there was a little hard. Because I usually don't go that dark. Well, I do just in small spots. Like where his leg meets his head here and the shadow there. His leg. And he's got a little bit of hair. 
Just a bit, though. Just a bit. And then there is Ray. Ray. I, I also drew Ray during math, and I didn't get caught, which I thought was awesome. He's got his two legs, two long arms, and a sad face. In case you can't notice, there's his two eyes and his mouth. I colored his teeth in, so they're yellow. Like, kind of a dark, less vibrant yellow. So it would be more realistic, because doing bright yellow teeth just doesn't look good. In Well, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. But I feel like using the less vibrant yellow looks more realistic. And it's easier on the eyes, in my opinion. For certain situations. Um... I don't really know how to shade with rocks everywhere, so I just shaded the parts that I thought would be darker than the others, like how... Hold on. Sorry. Like how... Um, over here, this rock is overlapping this rock, and there's a lot of rocks overlapping other rocks. <laughs> um, so, that is Ray. And then there is Hector. No, he is not... Come on, Toby. Get in. My family's dog, Toby, does this thing where he just kind of stands by the door. Inside and when he's outside, standing by the door, I'd open the door and say, Come on in, Toby, and he just walks away. It's really irritating. So Hector, I don't know why I gave him that super sad expression. I could have made him really happy. And I made him look like he was sad, super ticked off, or just like, Dude, you are in. Cry deeper than any toilet right now, dude. He'd probably be that guy who uses the word dude as the first and last word in both of his sentences. This commentary sucks. Um, all these strands that look that may look like eyelashes, that's actually his hair. Just kind of messed up, screwed up hair. Because I suppose these guys just don't grow hair all that well. And hair's just dead skin. And I suppose their skin is... Fairly alive, though that eyelid must be a lot of trouble to live with, because that thing is gigantic. And that is my fault. Uh, uh, my, my stand keeps leaning, and I don't want it to fall over. And then there's this big dude, who is obviously not finished yet. Like I said in the other video, I only have half of him done. I've got the mouth, the eyes, and an arm done. And... I think I'm doing pretty good on this one, though the smudging is horrendous. So that's why I only got this much of it done, though I could have gotten a lot more done. And I'd say I'm pretty happy with how he's coming out so far, though. I don't like how his lip looks like it's made up of, like, uh, well. There's something that it definitely looks like, but due to my audience consisting of a lot of young idiots, I'm not going to say what it is, so for now I'll just say it looks like... Um, a bunch of peas set side by side with each other. I bet for the small portion of my audience that it consists of older people, you'll probably know what his lower lip looks like, which I shall not go into for any further detail. And I don't know why I drew it like that. See, Lars and Bertstein, they have normal lips. Dave has normal lips. But then we got stinking Java, Job, J Sever Jabba over here who has a bottom lip that looks like it got stung 60 times by a bunch of rabid bees. And um, another thing that I want to show off because of a little story I have that is absolutely terrible. The story, not the drawing, is kind of a knockoff version of my brother's character, Oogma-san. I only have the top half shown because I can't show everything. I like to make my weird, bizarre interpretations of his characters. I once did it for his OC called Vendetta, and now I did it for Oogma-san. He's just like, I'll kill ya, because Oogma-san is the Grim Reaper. He used to be this thing called a Vestal, which is, uh, energy that is harnessed within a shell. So they so they have, like, a, <laughs> hey, Joey, oh. so they have, like, an anthrop anthropomorphic form. And Oogma-san died. He's still the Grim Reaper, basically. But now he's a ghosty ghost. And yeah. he's got his ghost tail. Though Joey just draws him as, like, a weird cloak without hands. Hey, that was only once. Twice. Good. Because cloaks without hands and with the head look weird. 
At least the one where he said, The judgment is memes was funny. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. These people have no idea what I'm talking about. They, they do not. I don't think they know what you're talking about. Shut it, you canines! I'm yelling at the dogs. So, you know how artists have like a really cartoony comic style, and then you just, and then they just crank out something super detailed, and you're like, "Whoa! I thought they were just a cartoonist. I didn't know they could make super detailed crud." Well, I'd say I'm one of those people. Yeah, is this stapler functioning? Yeah, but it's empty. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I'd say I'm one of those artists because. I have a very, very cartoony art style. It's it's not realistic. I'm still working on anatomy a little bit, and I don't even bother giving my characters noses, and their hair usually defies the laws of physics, especially my own. It's like mine just exaggerated, which is probably what cartoons are as a whole, just like based on something real but exaggerated, which is like what a, what a uh, cartoon character based off a real person is. Anyways... Yeah, Shrek. He's based off this wrestler guy who looks like a stinking ogre, who was awesome because he had thick bones, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually don't know. So, so oh hey, there's a Wagmasan. See, hang on. Show them what a Wagmasan really looks like. This oh, is I have some hands. This is hey, just move your hand. This is what a Wagmasan really looks like. Super cool. He's got it. You're praising my character, and your phone interrupted. God dang it. Yeah. It interrupted me, you dingus. Oh, yeah, you. Because you're not the one talking. Um, I'd say this is a pretty cool drawing. It's of a cool Ogmason with purple lightning. The lighting is kind of weird, so you well, can't tell like it's purple storm. until it's zoomed in. It's like a little storm cloud. He's it's, an angry storm cloud. He's an angry little storm cloud. You're, you're an angry, angry storm cloud. Yeah. All right, get this out of my sight. So, okay. Imagine if that was the thumbnail. That thing? Yeah. Okay, well. That'd be funny. Joey, get out of this room so I can suffer. So I can suffer not in stereo, please. In what? Not in stereo. Suffering in stereo means like there's someone else in there with you while you're suffering. So I gotta leave? Yes. Just for a little bit. Just. The video's getting too long! Oh, the judgment is memes. There it is. Okay. So, come on. Get out. Go take a dump or something. Hey, water. I need water. Trust me, guys. I'm not trying to make this video drag on for as long as possible. Excuse me. I'm not trying to make this video drag on for as long as possible. It's just things keep happening and I was thirsty for water. So, okay. A really dumb thing I did today. It's probably something I shouldn't get too worked up about, but I get worked up over a lot of really, really tiny things that I really shouldn't get worked up about. Like, I say something that I think is stupid and it haunts me for the next few weeks. Heck, I'm still tolerating something I said a week ago. Maybe a week and a half ago, probably. Maybe, probably, definitely, maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, movie. That, that's a good movie. Um, so, I said, okay, I find it miraculous that the same guy that drew this thing also drew this thing. And the person I was referring to, I, I said in art class, the same guy who drew this thing also drew these things, and I can't stress how dumb that makes me feel. The person who I was talking to was, they could have been either thinking, this is going to haunt the guy for the next five years, or this guy sucks. He's praising himself or whatever, because what I was doing was acknowledging that it looks like I have a super dopey, a super dope dopey cartoon style but I really have awesome capabilities, which I'm gonna admit, I think these guys are rad as heck. And I, I have a wide range of skill with art. Hey, get out of- get out! Go away! When are you gonna come back? When I say you're gonna come back! Do 
Dude, go into the room! Okay, now he's mad at me because he can't handle me not suffering in stereo. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I have a wide range of skill with art. I can do this detailed crud and this cartoony crud. But the, I know a thing you should never do if you're an artist and a thing I should never do again is acknowledge that someone has a wide range of skill and that someone is yourself because it makes you sound like a vain piece of garbage and I I don't think I'm a vain piece of garbage I'm just a piece of garbage not vain and that ugh, just makes me feel dumb and I wish I hadn't said that but that would make this video less I don't know good because good videos apparently have cruddy tangents and um, chances are if I went back to the past and changed one little thing, it would change the entire course of my future. Like, in my future, I wouldn't be a video game designer, I'd be a stinking accountant. And I, I don't want to be an accountant! They just study numbers and junk and it's super stupid. I took another drink of water. But bottom line is... As an artist, you really got to think about what you say. Don't be self-admiring. Just <laughs> you may don't even humble brag. That oh, I also tried to say hashtag humble brag to kind of save it, but I know it didn't work. I just know for a fact that it didn't work. And the girl who I was talking to, whom I shall not name for publicity's sake, probably thinks I'm some idiot. Uh. Just don't acknowledge yourself. Provide your, don't provide yourself with criticism. Just like don't criticize yourself while you're showing your art to other people, because that's just dumb. They don't want to hear it, and they they just don't want to hear it. They just want to see your art and get you out of their faces. Because who 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 wants some random fourteen year old uh, fart face? Wearing all black, black shirt, black underwear, black jeans, black socks, black shoes. Just saying, hey, hey, can I show you this? And they say, uh, sure. And I, and it's just like, hey, these are some doodles I made. What do you think? And I was like, I like it. But that doesn't mean that they like it. That means, hey, get the heck out of my face, you creep. At least that's what I think anyway. Um, and this was supposed to be a doodle showcase, but I guess it was an art artistic rant video so yeah you, you can come back now I'm about to end the video anyway I hate you so much I love you too man Ooh, so man. this has been my doodle showcase um <laughs> that okay okay this has been my first doodle showcase I would definitely do more of these and I will show off that uh Job of the half looking doodle. Job um, of the half? Yeah, job of the half looking doodle <laughs> later when I finish it. So, bye guys.